Hi, and welcome to Always Dolls. Today, we share with you how to DIY the Wagashi candy box from American Girl's Japanese souvenir set. We love the look of these spring-themed candies, and now your dolls can enjoy these yummy treats too. Leave a like if you enjoy this video, and subscribe to help our channel grow. So, let's get making! For the box, start with a square of white poster board. It seems fitting to use an origami folding method to make the wagashi box. Begin by folding the paper in half. Open flat, then fold in half from the other side. Now, take each corner and bring the tip to the center point of the paper. Press firmly on the fold line for a crisp crease. Next, fold the top and bottom edges to the center of the square. Open flat and repeat with the other two sides. You can now see the impression lines for the smaller box we are making. Open the right and left side flaps, then reposition the top and bottom folds. It should look like this. Now, carefully bend the paper upwards so the flaps start forming the walls of your box. To lock in place, Fold over the remaining paper and press the triangular tip flat. For even more security, we glued a 3.5cm square of pink paper to the base of the box. Cut a square of clear plastic packaging for the lid. Measure in 1.5cm on all four sides and crease. Cut away the corners. Then bend the lid walls in to meet each other. Secure in place with sticky tape. Our candy box is ready to fill with delicious treats. We are using Model Magic brand air dry clay in white and mint green. You can mix the white clay with paint to get a soft pink similar to the American Girl candies. Roll a ball of clay that fits into one quarter square of the box. Using a plastic ruler, press down gently to slightly flatten the top. Here, we made a crude embossing tool by threading a bead on a chopstick. Push the bead into the center of the clay, but be careful not to misshape the ball. Using a plastic knife, place the tip at the top of the center impressed ring, then roll it down the sides to make line marks. Repeat the first and second steps with your second ball of clay. Here we are using a tiny bulb left over from Julie's fireplace Christmas tree as it has a spade-like shape. Press the bulb into the clay to make eight evenly spaced impressions. Next is the bunny rabbit. Push your fingertips inward to gently elongate the ball into a soft triangular shape. For ears, roll clay into short one centimeter long logs. Take the curved tip of a paintbrush and push to make an indent, then pinch the bottoms closed. Place the ears on top of the rabbit's body. Make eyes with a dotting tool or toothpick. Add a tiny ball of clay for the tail. Switching to the green clay, we can make our spring leaf. Roll it flat, then freehand cut a leaf shape about four centimeters long. Use the tip of your knife tool to score the venation pattern. Flip over and put a small ball of green clay at the base. It will support the top half of the leaf and give it the pretty curled appearance. Smooth the sides closed for a neat finish. Here we used a basic palette of pinks and yellow for our candies. Each flower has a yellow center. First, cover the cherry blossom with a layer of light pink. While the paint is still wet, blend in the hot pink to get an ombre effect. We strayed slightly from the AG version and painted inverted hearts in each space. Finish the bunny by colouring the centre of each ear pink and filling the eye dots with black paint. Right or print the label on a scrap of green paper, adhering to the box lid with sticky tape.
Tell us your favourite World Traveller set in the comments below. Check out our bubble tea tutorial and come back soon to Always Dolls for more miniature crafting fun.